Welcome back to our very special Inside Music Row, where we are taking a look back at some of our most popular segments. Montgomery Gentry has seen tremendous success since forming as a duo in the late 1990s. These two Kentucky boys have sold millions of albums and won countless awards, but their latest album takes them back to their roots. Rebels on the Run was released last fall, and we caught up with them to hear about the fresh project on a new label. Happy Jones, thank you, we love you! Code Ford, we love you! Here we go, here's our brand new single! I'm here with the guys, Montgomery Gentry. How are y'all doing? Doing awesome, doing awesome. Just uh, traveling around and uh, getting ready for the new CD to come out and uh, just uh, living life and having a blast, man. I love it, I love it. Yeah, it's been, uh, we've been having a lot of fun this year. We've been doing a lot of touring, a lot of traveling, but uh, most excited about getting this new record out. Yeah, so you guys, I mean, new record, and I've listened to it. It's awesome. The music is just, it's sort of across the board. It, it's a lot of things that sound really new and different, and other things that are, you can tell it's Montgomery Gentry. Uh, yeah, you know, we uh, kind of, I, I know we haven't been this excited since Tattoos and Scars, since we first, you know, signed uh, a few years back, you know. And uh, I tell you, I, I can't thank Average Joe's enough, man, because they, they got us in there when they signed us and said, you know, you and T-Roy, man, y'all go make a Montgomery Gentry record and bring it back to us. And so we got in with Michael Knox and uh, I'll tell you this being in the studio it was just an absolute blast. See that door right there, man I swear it ain't never been locked and I guarantee it never will. Obviously your single's doing great at radio. There's one line in that song. I'm just like, oh that's so awesome. It's so real. The line about um, boys are gonna fight and they go outside and they're not gonna the nobody's gonna call the law. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that. that is uh, that's happened quite a few times in, yeah. in our era coming up through the honky tonks and stuff. Uh, we've seen it a few times. We've actually had to break it up. So uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> but uh, I, I tell you man, just uh, all the way down um, uh, from all the way from top to bottom, uh, I, I tell you it uh, we've been very, very excited about the whole C D and uh, I, I know I'm still I'm still playing mine, man, and uh, loving it, and can't wait for everybody else to hear it. And there's another one on there. Um, people, I like people like that, and they like me. How, what's the title? I like, uh, I like, yeah. yeah, I like these people. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. And we had I had a lot of fun with that because we were able to have Charlie Daniels and Randy Owen come in the studio and, and sing on that on that track with us. So it was a lot of fun to have two of our uh, big mentors, you know, we, we grew up with some of our heroes come in and, and sing with us. Where I come from, that big old moon shining down tonight. Where I come from, let the man do it long to make it right. Where I come from. They're all so good, it's hard to even pick. And the album title, Rebels on the Run. Yeah, I, I tell you, it's, uh, uh, that song is, um, uh, uh, a good friend of ours wrote it, and it, it reminds me of when me and T. Roy and uh, John Boy or John Michael uh, Montgomery, when uh, we started out as teenagers, man, and uh, we spent more in gas money getting to a gig than we actually made, you know. But we were on stage and we were playing music, and uh, that's what we wanted to do. So back in those days, when was that? Give me a little. Do you guys start playing before you had a big deal? Yeah, I mean, we, we grew up in the clubs. Actually, we met in the clubs and, and started playing probably back in the late 80s uh, together. So Eddie and I and his brother have been friends for quite some time now. So you guys lived that. Oh, yeah, we have uh, we even make a joke about it. We even got video on it. So uh, we, we hope that don't come up nowhere. <laughs> Has it had to resist New Year's Day in 88? It's trampled on by Average Joe's because that's a new label. You guys spent a long time on a real big major label. Now you're on independent. How's that going? That's going real well. You know, that's a perfect fit for us. We couldn't have landed at a better spot. And you know, and you know, Eddie and I, uh, we've been around for for quite some time. We had many many hits with with Sony. But it, you know, at the end of our contract, we just thought it was time to find another home. And and the smaller independent company works well for us. You know, they give us our creative freedom. We're able to go in there and. Um, where there's not so many people in the office, everybody's more hands-on. And I like that kind of attention, and, and they're just great folks to work with. Nashville's Michael Knox produced the new album for the duo, which debuted in the top ten the week it went on sale. It had been about three years since fans had heard any new music from Montgomery Gentry, and they turned out in droves to pick up the new tracks. We have to take a quick little break, but we still have lots more ahead on our special Inside Music Row, so don't go away.